Are you looking for something that is high quality, extremely fun, and also wickedly violent? Then I have the movie for you. In Django Unchained, a slave is freed by a bounty hunter and not only offered a chance at revenge, but a hope of saving his wife. This is from a director who is known to be controversial and making waves, but I think it's a great western filled with hard-hitting action, comedy drama, and a little social commentary. Django and a group of slaves are being led through the darkness one night when they come across a bounty hunter named Dr. Schultz. He kills the slavers and frees Django because he wants his help to hunt down the Brittle Brothers. These vile men are responsible for abusing and torturing the main character and his wife when they try to escape a plantation. The good doctor soon discovers that his new partner has a real talent for killing. Schultz offers Django a deal. If he'll work with him, train with him over the winter, then the doctor will help him rescue his wife. She is being held far to the south on a plantation run by a fiend of a man named Calvin Candy. Django will stop at nothing to be reunited with his soulmate, and you just don't feel bad for anybody that gets in his way. Written and directed by Quentin Tarantino, this is an example of what this guy does best. He gives you gritty action with comedy inside of an exceptionally written script with applause-winning performances. I love this movie most as a western that's set in the South that holds nothing pack and pulls no punches. This is a revenge movie. It's a rescue mission that delivers some bloody gun battles. It surprised me how fast things would kick off at times. I would be expecting the showdown and all of a sudden someone would draw so quickly that first shot would ring out so fast that it would actually startle me. Now the blood here is pretty outlandish and extreme. We're talking geysers at times. So please know things are more on the fun side of gory. As much as the bullets had my adrenaline pumping, this movie had me howling with laughter. Even with the brutality and the serious avenues this film goes down, it has a great sense of humor throughout it. All of the characters, from the heroes to the bad guys, are gonna have you laughing even in moments and circumstances you really shouldn't find funny. It's a combination of well-timed dialogue and the performance of the cast themselves that had me laughing when I was on edge and repulsed by what was going on. The comedy not only made me enjoy the movie more, but I was able to look past the jokes and the action and connect deeper into the film, but it never made light of its setting. Jamie Foxx makes Django a great Western hero. From the suffering that this guy has endured and forged him into this cold revenge machine, it's a great transition to get to watch because he barely speaks. This is a character of few words, but very deadly actions. When he becomes the trained and deadly gunfighter, it only gets better. If you've ever doubted Foxx as an actor, this is the role that may open your eyes. Teaming him with Christopher Waltz as Dr. Schultz was a brilliant idea. Waltz's charm and his wit are the perfect fit for this more action-oriented title character. I loved the chemistry between these guys in this movie, and I, I could have seen a sequel. I could have seen a third movie with just their characters. Once again, Tarantino assembles a stellar cast, but two people in particular make this movie that much better. Leonardo DiCaprio plays Calvin Candy, and it is a twisted yet charming genteel performance with unrestrained intensity. During one of the scenes, DiCaprio actually hurt his hand and he kept performing through it. Samuel L. Jackson plays Stephen, Candy's personal servant, and this guy is hilarious. He's just going to have you laughing despite the fact that you despise his character's very being. Django Unchained is another action hit from a director that I've come to love, but it's also award-winning filmmaking. This is a controversial film because of how graphically they show the evils of slavery and their choice of language. I think this film is so worth watching that you need to catch it and make up your own mind. When you're ready for gritty action, great comedy, and a dark story, then saddle up with Dr. Schultz and Django.